a little bit of Super Fox in here and here and here and here with another creepy pasta video. This is episode 8. Today, we are going to be doing, as you can see from the picture, a Sonic creepy pasta. This one is called Tales of Abuse. Here we go. We gotta read this one word for word from this person's point of view. I'm a retro gamer. I love to play both recent and old games, but specifically games created by Sega. Revenge of the Shinobi, Streets of Rage, Sonic, Golden Axe. But a month ago, something happened. Something made me look at these wonderful games in another perspective. It was, a, it was in a foggy night. 3 a.m. to be more specific. I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the emulator. Since I wasn't sleepy, I chose both Sonic and Tails as my character and started playing. After reaching Chemical Plant Zone, I got bored, so I decided to play a little with the characters. I went to a part of Zone, where I could find many enemies such as a grabber, a spider that grabs the character and then self-destructs, and Spiny, who shoots balls of acid. I use Tails to have a little fun, since he's invincible and imitates every move Sonic makes. I took a few steps so the enemy could see me, and when it attacked, I ran, leaving Tails behind. I did that several times until something weird happened. All of a sudden, Tails' animation changed to the one he makes when he drowns. And the sound was different too. It was the sound your character makes when it touches spikes without having any dreams. The sound was very loud too. Even more than usual. I thought it was a bug. Since the game was played on an emulator, I waited for Tails to appear again, but it never showed up. I decided to reset the game. Everything looked normal, except for the part where the logo is supposed to appear, showing Tails and Sonic smiling. When I looked at it, Tails was missing. He just wasn't there at all. And instead of smiling, Sonic had a weird reaction, like he was disappointed or depressed. I was getting a little scared, since it was too weird to be a simple emulator bug, but I tried to dodge it and began playing again. I went to the options to choose both Sonic and Tails, like I did the last time, but the only options there were only Sonic. The other options were missing. I didn't know what to think. I began playing, and when I looked at Sonic's fight on the Emerald Hill Zone, he had the wrong expression. He looked uncomfortable, like when you don't touch the control for some time. I controlled Sonic, but even running his expression would change. I was seriously creeped out, so I closed the emulator and turned on my Sega Genesis so I could play correctly without all of it. I didn't even know what to call, but I'm sure those weren't just bugs. When the game started, Sega's logo was different. It was red, and the sound was... It was louder, like the one that I heard when Tails disappeared. I tried to believe it was just a glitch, but the console was already very old. But I was starting to get my doubts. Despite of that weird glitch, everything was back to normal. Tails was there again, the sprites were okay, the sound too. I sighed in relief and started playing. When I reached the boss, I didn't have any rings and accidentally Tails touched the bot in his car and made the same animation he made on chemical plants on. The game froze. I started freaking out and reset. The screen was now white. No say hello. No say hello though. No sprite. No sound. Creeped out by now, and when I went to turn off the console, the text box appeared. I couldn't 
believe it. I have never seen such a thing in this game. I was more surprised by the text. You killed him. I tried to press all the buttons on the controller, but nothing worked. I also tried to turn off the console, but I couldn't. I even tried to turn off the television, but I was very scared. I sat on the sofa and grabbed the controller. Again, another text box appeared. You destroyed his life. Are you going to try to destroy mine too? Are you having fun? I pressed the A, I pressed the button A again. Now it's now on the chemical plant so The background was different though. The background was more darker than usual. And I could see different shades of red. Was it blood? The music was different too. It was the boss's music, but reversed and slow. The only side was that the gameplay was normal besides one little thing. When I defeated an enemy, instead of the sprite of a bunny or chicken, I would see the same animal, but torn apart, and in a puddle of blood. The blood was so realistic. I didn't even reach the second stage. In the end of the first stage, I couldn't control Sonic anymore. He began running for two minutes. When he stopped, another text box appeared. Are you ready? Ready to see what you've done to him? I was speechless. I asked myself, what I could have done to let this happen? But then I realized, did I kill Tails? I couldn't believe it. It was just a game. It was just a bunch of codes. I couldn't do such a thing. Then another text box appeared. But this one was different. It was just a yes slash no option. I didn't hesitate and chose no. I knew it. I couldn't even choose that option. I had to choose yes. The game wanted me to choose yes. I did that. It was a horrible mistake. The screen faded to black. Five seconds after, I saw a close up of Tails' corpse. It was full of wounds. His guts were thrown out, and he was missing an eye. That image was so realistic, I almost vomited. Then another text box appeared. I hope you're happy. You killed me. Will you have a fun with it? I, I know you were. Do you want to do it again? Play with me again. I'm just a simple toy for you. Simple toy for all of you. I was horrified. I felt something different inside me. Was it guilt? It couldn't be. I'm sure more players already did this with Tails, but was he really in pain? I never touched a retro game again. I spent my days playing in my PS3. And every time my character dies, I remember what happened. I will never forget. Well, this was an interesting recap. Was that? Wow! I actually don't even know. The first thing is the way to start with this one. Um. Let me think here. That was fancy, 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 fancy. You know, I think the person who wrote this put a lot of thought and effort into this. Wow, is it freaky? It freaked me out. I'm a, I'm a Tales fan myself. I used to do that kind of stuff though, just to, just to joke around. Now after reading that, I don't think I'm really doing it anymore. Unless I'm doing a recording, of course. <laughs> anyway, I had to rate this one. I had to. Oh, what the hell? I'll give it a freaking 7.5. I don't really believe this actually happened. Anyway, on to the next. Story, which will have some music with it. See you then.